Across the hills of Caroline I feel something in the air A new song is on my mind The sweet melody I hear Was sent from heaven above The song that I'm singing Is of everlasting Welcome to Cooking with Miss O. Let's join Mary Beth Oxendine in the kitchen as she teaches you how to cook Southern style healthy. Welcome to Cooking with Miss O again. I'm so glad to be back. Um, as you know, it's kind of cold weather here. It hasn't been too cold, so we're doing a soup um, meal. You can use this for a dinner or for a lunch, and um, it's real easy, it's real quick. Actually, I'm having some company, some ladies over tomorrow for lunch, and I can get this on in um, less than an hour. So I wanted to do that for you. It is a recipe that I had when my husband Tom had just died that September, and um, my son's um, fiance's parents and her uncles and aunts and all were wonderful, and they invited my daughter and I over for a dinner, and it was this baked potato soup, which was in the 2007 Southern Living, and the recipe was the outside part, um, like they do sometimes, just like that, and it was this one. So if you've got that old Southern Living magazine, the um, potato soup, uh, crock pot potato soup is wonderful. What I do to kind of speed it up a little bit for the crock pot, especially when I want to do it in the evenings or something, and I don't want to leave it all day cooking, because it doesn't last real well if you cook it all day. I um, first put it in my Pampered Chef um, pot here and that it doesn't stick in the Pampered Chef like a lot of the stainless will stick. It has a coating, I don't know what it is, but as you can see, it's just heavy enough. And so I put it in there. Now, I do put up my, um, I put up my own chicken broth a lot of times, but I keep this in stock in case I wanna do it. I do um, this for the broth, because that's what they said. And they said do the roasted garlic, but this company doesn't make that anymore. So you, I do my own roasted garlic. Let me show you here. This is the Pampered Chef can opener that my daughter gave me one year for Christmas. I don't know if y'all remember me telling you this, and I could not figure it out. And I didn't want to hurt her feelings, so she finally asked me, why aren't you using it, Mom? And I told her, I said, Marie, I don't know how to do it. This is the best can opener I've ever had. And um, it makes it so it's real smooth. It's a Pampered Chef. Great present for Mother's Day, kids. And um, on the website, we're going to be putting up the Pampered Chef person we have in the Clemson area. And um, he works at Clemson University, actually. And um, then y'all can either call him for somebody near you, or you can call him and have him come out. He and his wife do a great uh, presentation. I do one every year at my house for my daughter and all her friends because they love him, and they love the food and stuff. Um, all right. That you have to go around about two times to get all the glue that these lids are stuck down with. When you don't hear any more popping, then you know the lid will come off. Let me try. There you go. So there's no rough edges. Your kids can do this. Let me just set that right here. Now we're going to dump this last one into. This has no MSG, and this affects a lot of children. So if you don't know the dangers of MSG and why you shouldn't cook with it, um, look it up online because it ha causes a lot of problems with kids, especially kids who are allergic to chemicals like my daughter. It causes a lot of learning disabilities, um, where if you take the MSJ out of a child's diet, you'll be surprised at how much better they could focus. A lot of our kids that are listed as um, being um, problems in behavior or problems with um, different things like that, then that's because of the MSG in their food. A lot of restaurants have it on salad bars. Now, I have cut up this um, 
the potatoes, the potatoes I buy are at Ingles. They have two different kinds I get. Sometimes they have an organic from North Carolina and sometimes, but I do the yellow potatoes. Now let me tell you, a lot of people don't know this, but a lot of European countries that eat a lot of potatoes, they don't have any problems with depression. So when you want to cut out your starches, you don't need to cut them totally out. Um, you need to use the yellow potatoes or the sweet potato because it really has um, enzymes in there that help you not have depression. Now this is how I cut them up. I left a few so I could show you. Um, and it makes it real easy so you have those chunks for the potato soup. I cut the potato in half and then I take that half and I cut it in half. And then I cut it in force like that. And then I just go like this and cut it. If you have a knife, I have one that's blunt here, it's rounded so kids can't hurt themselves without the sharp point and it's the one I taught my kids and the neighbor kids and relatives how to cut with. So get your knife like that and your kids can be cutting with you. I had my kids doing all this. My son was cutting out biscuits with a biscuit cutter at two years old sitting on the counter. Kids love to cook and all of them can cook. This is my Pampered Chef small batter bowl. I like that. I use that for a lot of stuff. But it's a four. It's also got a measuring cup here. This is four cups to the line down here. But I need five cups of potatoes for this soup. So I heap it up. And you saw that I've already dumped one in there. So then you can just put your crock pot, put it in the crock pot. Say you just got home from work or home from taking the kids, paying the kids up from school and you have activities to do and uh, or your afternoons are really busy for some reason or another then you can um, then you can have this sitting in the crock pot already now it calls this recipe calls and I wanted to tell you too the cookbook the 2007 annual recipes if your library is like mine they carry all the annual recipe ones. It's in there in the crock pot section. And it's called the baked potato soup. And I'll put that on the website, which they've got up. And we're doing better with it now. And we've got a great guy named Toad that works here at the station that is taking care of it for us. And um, all I have to do, y'all, is give him the stuff. Because you know, I've told y'all I'm not good electronically at all. Now we're going to dump this in here. It calls for a lot of butter in here and whole cream. And um, that's a little bit too much fat. I think, I, I mean, fat is good for you. It's not something you wanna take away. Now, Walmart pan, y'all. This is real good for sauteing, and I use this with it too. And what I do here is I mix my butter. So I'm only gonna put one tablespoon of butter, and it was calling for a lot. I'm gonna do this here, and I wanna do a tad of the very light olive oil. If you haven't used olive oil and you've tried it and it's the darker olive oil and you don't like the taste, I tell everybody to start with the extra light by Bertoli. I buy all this at Ingalls um, because if you start with that, do that in your salad dressings and everything, then it's a lot healthier. And when you mix but a little bit of butter with your olive oil for sauteing, and this way it'll still have a little buttery taste in there, but it doesn't have the mass amount it called for at all. And you can do that with all recipes. Cut your butter down to about one-eighth of what they're saying. And it still has that great flavor. Now, I've already cut up um, a lot of my onion here. And this recipe takes a lot of onion, and you would think it's too much, but it really needs it for flavor. Now, I've put that in there, and I'm going to cut up the rest of this onion, but I want to show you. This is my Pampered Chef garlic press. It's really uh, wonderful because it's easy to clean and it doesn't get it all over my hands, and this is all I have to do. Now, it had a little tool with it that scrapes that off, but I didn't know what it was. This was another gift for my daughter. I threw that little tool away. So when you open up your Pampered Chef thing and it has this little thing, that's the thing that scrapes it off. And do not do like me and throw that away. Now, all I have to do to get the, I wanna show you, this is all that's left. So you didn't have to cut all the skins or anything off. Now I'm gonna put another one in. And this gives it that roasted garlic taste when you do it like this. You don't have to put it in the oven and um, bake it or anything. You can just put it in this little bit of butter and olive oil. And we're going to stick that right in and saute it with the onions. And then you have that roasted garlic and onion taste in this soup. 
This is a very inexpensive soup, but it's also a very healthy soup. Um, I do the same base I, after I learned this from, I got the basic from the Southern Living and changed it some, but then I use the base of it, leave the potatoes off, and I put organic garlic, garlic in there. Let me turn this down a little bit. Um, I put organic um, garlic just like I do in the onion, just like I do, but then I put the organic broccoli in, and you see that right there? that I buy at Ingalls. All of this I have bought at Ingalls. And that's what I love about this store because I can get what I need for my daughter to stay healthy. And of course in the process it keeps all the rest of the family healthy too. Um, I do three cloves of garlic and I do the onions. And then I just let it saute it in that, um, I don't want it to get too dark, but it needs to be a little bit brown. Um, and I'm going to do the rest of this real quick. And then I put in some of the carrots in that. And we will be right back. It's a commercial break, y'all. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Welcome back, y'all. The onions and the garlic, and if you can see that, it's not browned, and you don't really want it really brown at all. You just want it to be see-through and um, transparent. Now, my verse for today is, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Um, when you feel like that you're just overwhelmed and life um, is throwing you some tough things, Always remember that happiness is fleeting, but joy is lasting. So if you are not happy right now, that's all right. That comes and goes in all of our lives. But joy is what you want, and Christ is the one that gives us that joy. Marie Pritchard and I both talk about how, and we are, we and my children and her husband and daughter, even though our loved ones are in heaven, we have joy. And that is so much more lasting and so much more um, filling my life than just the happiness that fleets in and out. Now, I just stuck that right in there. And then we have this on high. And then what I do when I get everything on here, um, when it's done, I garnish it with sour cream. But then I put in two cups of um, half and half. It called for heavy cream. I do the Organic Valley half and half. And then I also put in two cups of cheese. We're going to do the milk, the half and half, right at the end. And then um, I will show you after I, and then I'll put it in the crock pot, and then we can, um, I will show you my last thing. This thing has measurements on it. This is from Tupperware, and I will have on my website the Tupperware lady that you saw here because she can tell you somebody who's in your area and you can get these things. The reason I love this, I don't know how many of y'all's moms our mother-in-laws used to have the square metal kind that you can still buy in the store. And when you went to clean it, it scrubbed your nails, I mean scrubbed your knuckles and everything. This is wonderful because it has the measurements down the side and I know that I need two cups of this cheese. This is the Cracker Barrel cheese right here and I do just the sharp. And um, you can use other cheeses, but this is the cheese that we love. And this helps thicken this soup. Now, I do the cheese, but I also do the broccoli and the carrots. The only thing that's different is the potatoes are not in there. And then you have broccoli and cheese soup, and you can use the same base. You can also use the same base for cream of chicken, and you can either add, leave the potatoes in with the cream of chicken, or you can add the noodles, and I add carrots and celery in that one. In different shows, I'm going to try to make all three of these for you, so you can see that all you have to have is the basic recipe and you can do it. And if you think of some other recipes, some other variations for this, I would love to hear about it. Because we love hot soup in the winter. Now, we've got two cups. I'm going to keep a little bit of cheese out for garnish on the soup. Here we go. Now, widows, this is a great soup because the longer you have it during the week, the better it does. Now, I just put that in there so that it will melt up. When the potatoes get really tender, and that'll be when I get them in the crock pot just for warming, 
I use my Pampered Chef chopper here, and that chops it up, and when you chop up some of those potatoes, it makes it creamier that way, too, um, and thicker. Let's get all this cheese off here. Now, the only seasonings I'm using here is my salt and my pepper. Here. I just do the black pepper that I buy that's the um, organic at, um, at Ingalls, and it's called, um, oh, that just left me, but I show it to y'all all the time. Um, and I use those all the time. That's the pepper and the salt, the sea salt that I buy there too. Here we go. Now we're going to stir all this so that the cheese melts down here. Let's turn this up a little bit. It's not quite ready for me to smash it. And you don't want to smash up all of the potatoes because that'll make it um, more like whipped potatoes with um, broth. You just want to smash some of them with this and it really chops them and then it thickens your broth here. Then we add in a cup of one cup of this. And this is the Organic Valley half and half instead of the um, whipping cream or the whole cream they're telling you to use. And you put this towards the end right before you put it in the crock pot so that the potatoes are done and then you can, when you get it in the crock pot, you can smash them around. Um, and you're going to garnish it with the sour cream too and that's what they show on the picture here. They don't have a picture in the, in the cookbook but they do have a picture in here. Now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, all the different soups I do with this. Um, with the carrot one, I don't put celery. I just do the broccoli. I always use the Earthbound Farm. I've been using this for probably now 20 years. I guess it's 22 years. Before Ingalls, there was never a store that sold this, so I would have to order this at a food co-op in our Clemson area that some professors' wives were doing, and um, I would have to order enough to last me a long time. So it was really hard. So that's where I got to know Earthbound Farms. I've talked to them. They're precious people. Um, they're in California, and I get, they have the best celery. If you watch and your store or your Ingalls store doesn't have Earthbound Farm, um, then tell them you want your celery from there because they do something that a lot of them don't do. They leave on the leaves. Now, the um, celery I do with the carrots and the chicken. The broccoli I do with the carrots. I use the same base, and when I say the base, that's the seasonings, the salt and the pepper, the sea salt and the pepper. And um, it is the three cans of chicken broth. It's the garlic and the onions that are done in the butter and the olive oil. And that's what you, you want it to do. Um, the cheese, too, goes into the base um, for the broccoli and the carrots. But I've done the chicken without the cheese or with a different cheese, and it's great. But um, you can do it with that cheese, you can do a different cheese with the chicken, or you can also do it without it and it's still good. Another way we have tried that uh, from a restaurant that we like, Old Charlie's around here, they have a harvest chicken soup. Well, they put noodles in it and not potatoes, so we put noodles in with our chicken one. This will be up on the website, the basic, and all the recipes for the others. And um, now I want to talk to you about my salad. The salad that I'm doing today with my potato soup, because the potato soup is not in my cookbook, it's in the Southern Living that you can check out at the library. It's the year 2007. Um, the salad is what I do in the cookbook I've done several times for y'all with my spaghetti and different things and a lunch one. Um, I, um, I do it, it's in the dinner section with the spaghetti meal. And I do the spinach, I do celery, I do carrots. I give you a list of things that I do. I do the tomatoes. Let me tell you, in the wintertime, the only place to get tomatoes is at Ingalls. They are very careful to have USA um, tomatoes. They have organic, and um, they have non-organic, too. And I use those there. They always are fresh there, and you can't find that other places. If you do Roma tomatoes in the wintertime, they have a coating on them that has formaldehyde in them. 
And um, you really don't want to be eating that. My daughter's allergic to that, so we don't do Roma tomatoes that are in the um, winter because they have been treated with something to keep them fresh. And the organic has not been treated with anything. I, um, I, at, I wanted to show you this because the last time I did a show, I did the organic potatoes from North Carolina that Ingalls has. But Ingalls also has this, and um, they're, they're USA too, they're Idaho. So, but they're the golden mud potatoes. Whenever you get the golden ones, remember that is healthier than the Idaho bacon potato or any of the other potatoes except the sweet potato, okay? It has a lot of nutrition in this and you want that. The reason I use this, and I get this at Ingalls, um, I think a lot of stores probably carry it, but you want the one that's 100% natural. They have a bunch of different varieties by this brand. You, the reason um, I don't use other brands is because they still have MSG in them and this one doesn't. All right. Um, with this soup, I serve um, um, one of my dinner rolls. What I do with that, I made up a bunch of dinner rolls. I just pop it in the freezer. I can just take one out early on and put it in a little bit of tinfoil and, or just put it in a pan. You don't even have to have the tinfoil and I warm it that way. Um, it's a little crustier when you do it without the tinfoil and a little tender. And then you have the soup. And you saw how quick I did this. And then you just put it on. Um, the crock pot, you can put it on on high if you don't want to leave it that long in this pot, but you want to get it going in this pot so it's hot when you put it in there. Already have your, I've already got my crock pot on so that if the crock pot's hot, when you pour the hot in there, it won't crack your crock pot. So um, I just want to tell you, I will see you in just a minute when we come back. Thank you so much. Welcome back, y'all. I've just served up my soup. I wanted to show you just real quick. This is what I do. I put this in here and I just go around until it makes the potatoes a little bit smaller, smashes some up, but I don't do too much of it till you get the thickness that you want. And then I want to show you how I garnish this. As you can see, I have my wall roll. I have my salad. And then I put a little bit of sour cream on the top. Sour cream has less fat than butter and it's healthy for you. I do Daisy, because Daisy is a co-op out in Texas of a bunch of different farmers. And um, I don't put too much. Now my daughter, she puts a lot. And, um, and then I just put a little bit of cheese. There we go. And then I make my salad dressing, as y'all know, the zestiest Italian. I do the olive oil and I do the Bragg's apple cider vinegar. I keep a cannon jar. At Walmart, they have the cute little lids. I have a couple of different color lids to use. And then um, I just stir my soup around now with this garnish. And that sour cream gets in it, so that makes it thicker. This is my favorite potato soup I've ever had. And um, I serve this whenever people come for lunch suddenly. It will last in your refrigerator a week with no problems. And it just gets better every day. I want to thank you for being with us today. Have a blessed day, and I hope you love the soup. Thank you.